On today's video tutorial, we will go over how to install Kyocera printer on a Mac operating system with job account code. First step is to download the Kyocera print drive. Open up your browser and go to the URL USA dot kiosera document solutions dot com on this website go to the support tab then click the download center in the choose an option field enter in the model of your machine I'll be demonstrating on my own personal machine, which is a 5526 CDW. Remember, you can always look at the front facing cover of your device to find the model. Down below is now a list of drivers according to my operating system that I can download. The driver I want is the Mac driver 5.1. Hit the download arrow to the right to begin downloading the file. Once it's downloaded, double click on the file, open it up, in Finder, double click on the folder that's been extracted, double click on the disk image Kyocera file, and then double click on the Kyocera package file. Once the installation software pops open you're going to hit continue through the introduction continue again through the readme continue through the license agree on the license prompt on installation type choose customize uncheck duplex on that way all our jobs are not automatically duplexed and then choose install supply your administrative password and then wait for your installation to finish then close on installation now you may get a prompt for installer to access the downloads folder hit OK and you are being asked if you want to trash the driver files or keep them in this case we'll just keep them in case we need to reinstall down the road now the next step is to install the actual printer now that we have the drivers installed on our Mac. So now let's click on System Preferences. Let's go to Printers and Scanners. We're going to choose the plus sign and choose add a printer or scanner. We're going to choose IP tab. In the address bar, 
where it says enter hostname or IP address, we're going to make sure we put in the IP address of our copier. The quickest way to find what the IP address of your copier is, is to go to your operational panel on the home screen, press the device information button, and on the first tab, you should see the IPv4 IP address. This is the IP address you're going to want to use in your field when setting up your printer. So back in this field, we're going to put the IP address for my local machine. Protocol, I'm going to choose line printer. If I typed in the correct IP address for my machine, I will, you'll automatically see the Kyocera model is automatically selected for the right driver. If, you, if I did not supply the correct IP address, this use Kyocera model would not match my model. So that's another indicator that you want to verify that you are, you, you are using the correct IP address. In the Q field, you can leave that blank. In the name field, we can delete IP address with the name and we can re-enter a name that we desire. Then click add. Any additional features to your machine, you can select them here. Otherwise, hit OK. Now uh, we can we need to add the job account code into our printer. The best practice is if you use a software like Adobe Reader. Open the welcome PDF. Go to file. Go to print. Choose the printer tab. Excuse me, printer button. This will bring up the Mac operating system print box. In the layout drop down, we choose print panel. Then select settings. This will give you the Kia Sera Mac driver print panel. As you can see, my default is color. I'm going to set that to black and white. Then on the job tab, I'm going to Check the box for job accounting, and I'm going to supply my numeric code I use to access my copier. And hit OK. And the next step is to save this as a preset. That way I'm not entering this job every single time. So if you choose save current setting as a preset, I can do this preset for all printers. If I have multiple, more than one Kia Sera printer, I will choose all printers. That way I don't have to create a profile preset per printer. I can use the same preset for all the printers. And I will call this accounts. ID BW black and white. I hit OK. 
then I can hit print. And I'll just print one page. And then print. And I could just repeat the same process. Click my printer button. Go to my layout drop down. Go to my print panel. Settings. Now I can choose color and I can go to my job tab, verify my code is still there, then I hit OK and I go to presets and I choose save current setting as a preset and this I will change to color. That way I know the difference in the presets. So as you can see, I have two different presets, one black and white with my code and one color with my code. So now if I go to Safari, and I go to print, I can just choose my copier and my corresponding preset for printing. Now, depending on your operating system, In your drop down menu for Safari, you may have the print panel and you can make your presets using Safari. On some older Mac operating systems, the print panel is not an option. But that's depending on the operating system, not the driver. So it's best practice when creating your preset is to use a program like Adobe Acrobat Reader DC, which is free, to create your presets. Once again, we went to print. We chose a printer button. We went to layout. We went to print panel, we went to settings, we chose which color we wanted, we went to the job tab, we supplied our code, and then we saved the current settings as a preset to ensure us not having to type our code in for every single document that we want to print.